all right so let's get into the word of god can you turn bibles into oh wow wow <laughs> Psalm 6 to 7, Psalm 6 to 7 in verse, Psalm 6 to 7 in verse 5. Psalm 6 to 7 verse 5. And, and this is our Thanksgiving service. So afterward, we're going to have a lot of sessions of praising, of singing, of shouting, of rejoicing in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. All of in the gallery, I know that you are there. And uh, I'm, wave at me all of in the gallery just to make sure that you can hear me. If you're in the gallery, just wave at me. If you're not waving that means you can't hear me that's what it means so you can hear okay just to make sure just to make sure so frank make sure that they can hear me properly and this and, and you can see the screen properly right exactly awesome 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 if you're not very satisfied with the seat just walk with the ushers i know the ushers are trying to make everything possible so that we can make it just all work out for everyone praise the lord hallelujah all right psalm 6 to 7 in verse 5 the bible says let the people praise thee O god let them praise thee so first of all everybody please watch this now i want you to listen to this there's nothing that god tells you to do that is for him it's for you because the concept of god the word god in genesis is elohim is el elohim it's the self-existent one he cannot need something to exist someone said that god needed man's praise he doesn't god is self-sufficient Man can praise him, but he doesn't need it. He may love it, but he doesn't need it. For example, God wants you to give. Does he need your money? No. So there's nothing. So when it comes to Thanksgiving, people think that it's all about faith. It's about focus on God. But the point is this. The real power of Thanksgiving is the impact it has on you as a person. Because Thanksgiving makes you develop what I call a grateful soul and a grateful soul does well in life thanksgiving is not about a sunday it's about developing what a grateful soul just a perspective of life where you are just very thankful you know there was this story i shared in the other service and i will share it again there was this man that um there was this man um there was this man that it, it was a it, it, that there's a man and just a i don't know if it's a real story or a fake story you know and this man um has I think he felt sick as he felt sick as he felt sick his son was rushing to come and take care of him so when he felt sick he says he said god will thank you his son was rushing to come and take care of him and his son broke his leg and when they told him that his son was coming to take care of him his son broke his leg he said oh lord thank you so because lord, some broke his leg, they are taken to the hospital for five days after they took the hospital either five days or one week after they took the hospital then there was an army invasion on that country and the lord the king provided the lord that says all the male in the country must be recruited to the army once they are over 18. so they recruited all the male the only person they didn't recruit was what was his son because his son has what broken his leg and someone says and when he said that he said thank you and someone said why you do you always say thank you he said you see if i didn't thank him for that this would not happen if i didn't thank him for this my son would have been in the battlefield by now maybe he would have died he said you don't realize that sometimes the broken leg is a miracle itself let me tell you something god that is all wise said something he says in all things give thanks if god that can see the future says in all things give thanks there is a reason why you need to give thanks in my natural human mind that is very narrow i do not understand I mean, see, the thing is that just like when you fly on planes, they give you instruction. They say, tighten your seat belt, do this, do this. They give you a listen. Have you felt as if I travel often, I should not do this again? But that's why people get into trouble. Because they get familiar with what is with what is normal. So one of the very powerful things about Thanksgiving is how Thanksgiving affects our heart as a person. And it's not something you do. Someone says, I've come on a Sunday. No, 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 no. Thanksgiving is about Sunday. The kind of Thanksgiving that works is the one that works on your heart. It's a lifestyle thing. And let me just tell you something. But look up here. When God says in First Thessalonians, let's look at that because I'm, 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 I'm oxidizing the scriptures. Let, let, let's look at that quickly. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. When God says, in all things give thanks, for him to instruct us to give things that means that thanksgiving doesn't come naturally 
Number one, thanksgiving is a choice. Yes, sir. It's a choice to be thankful. So when you see people that are thankful, never ever think that the reason why they're thankful is because everything is going on well. Because real spiritual people, when we don't know what to say, we say we thank God. Oh wow. Someone says why? Because this is the reason why we say so. Bible says in everything give thanks for this is the will of God. What does that mean? If I don't know what's going on, if I cannot ascertain what is the will of God, I just say, Father, thank you. Because I've learned by experience that thanksgiving is the will of God. Hallelujah. And it's not me to say what I do not understand because I, can I speak to you this morning? There's going to be a season in your Christian life, things are going to happen, and God will be as if he's silent. And in that season, before you make all these proclamations and assumptions and ruin everything, before you talk too much and come up with philosophies and theologies, just say, Father, I thank you. I don't know how the divorce happened, but Lord, I thank you. I don't know how I lost the baby, but Lord, I thank you. I don't know how I didn't get the job, but Lord, I thank you. The reason why is that in all things, he didn't say for all things. If he said for all things, it means that God did it. Oh my God, did you get that? You need to see the scripture. When it says in, meaning that whatever you find yourself in, give thanks. For means that God did it. There's a difference between for all things that God did it. No, it says wherever you find yourself, give thanks. Can I give an answer? Can I give an opinion today? When you don't know what to say, Father, I thank you. When you have no explanation, Father, I thank you when it seems confusing father i thank you the reason why is that at least i know i'm in the will of god yes. glory to god i said glory to god and someone says why is it important to say father i thank you in down times when you have no opinion the reason is this because you can begin to genuinely struggle when things are quiet i i, I give my personal example in the previous service I said, because I always have healing services and pray for the sick. Some years ago, I got very discouraged praying for the sick. And the reason why is that when I pray for the sick, I would notice some people go back with their wheelchairs, with their walking stick. All the people were healed, but I would notice those people, maybe two or three people go back. And I would feel as if, God, you know, like with all we did, why didn't you heal them? And, you know, as, as I became ungrateful, because how did I become ungrateful? I forgot all those that got healed. I focus on what on those that God was going to heal then I began to lose my faith then that faith began to turn into fear gradually then it got to a point where I didn't want to pray for the sick because I was now hurt and some of you are like that until God showed me something in John chapter 5 when Jesus was a, Jesus came to the pool of Bethesda the Bible says there was a multitude of impotent folks there multitude in the scripture means 5,000 sick people in the minimum the Bible says he walked up to one and healed one and he went away and the holy spirit directed me said did you see that i said no he said did you see how the spirit of god focus your attention on the one that jesus christ healed not the one he didn't heal i said what does that mean he said if you want to live a grateful life always focus on what god has done not what he has not done always focus on what god has done not what is not done so while you're praying for the healing you got a promotion father thank you for that one don't be like lord but I'm not praying for promotion. It's anything I want. No, always turn your focus to what God has done, not what He's spending. And the reason I'm saying so is that some people are here, and, and, I mean, and they're just struggling, totally struggling spiritually, totally, totally struggling because their heart has been affected, and they're wondering. And the truth is that I'm not sure you're going to have answers to everything you ask because sometimes what you're asking for is not an answer you want what you want is assurance oh wow so your your brother died you say why did he die so god says he died because he had he said something wrong when he was young and that's why he died does that solve your problem no what what you really want is not an answer what you want is that lord when i call upon you in my own time open your answer what you want is an assurance So one of the things Thanksgiving does is that Thanksgiving makes your heart very soft towards God. So when I don't have answers, it makes your heart tender towards God. 
see what the bible says let's go back to psalms it says it, first so let's just in all things give thanks psalm says this it says let the people praise thee let the people praise thee look at verse 6 it says then shall the earth remember the earth in mark chapter 4 means the human heart because the bible says the soil is a human heart he said then shall the earth yield an increase he said he said when you're still in the place of thanksgiving your spirit would be of maximum yield he says when you praise god it will affect your soul it will affect your soul the reason why is that as i'm in church today some of you are damaged when they talk about god you don't you don't have that kind of faith as you used to have before because your earth has become weak it's becoming damaged you don't just can't trust god again and i'm saying the way you're going to get back is staying in the place of thanksgiving thankful people pay attention to what god is doing not what is pending glory to god Hallelujah. i said glory to god Hallelujah. the danger of having a heart that is corrupted is this this is the danger the danger of having a heart that's corrupted is this when you have an unthankful heart you will miss god how will you miss god john chapter 6 verse 9 just because went to feed, the, feed a multitude of thousands of people and someone bought five loaves and bought two fishes that's all they bought five loaves and what and two fishes you know the next thing just christ did the person that bought it said lord there's five loaves and two fishes here and the person said himself what is this among so many meaning that what can this one do what did just christ say jesus never said what is this among so many he said bring it yes. you know why i'm saying so the guy that said so had missed god because god had bought the seed for the miracle you know what i'm saying so <laughs> you're praying for marriage all of a sudden you got a new job and i said god what is new job what is new job this is not what i'm praying for i'm 35 let someone marry me ah, let someone marry me that's what i'm praying for no i don't want a new job i let someone marry me meanwhile you don't understand that in god's divine agenda is in that new office you meet somebody yeah. but because you are short-sighted so you you miss the opportunity you don't understand that sometimes one small testimony is not your testimony it's meant to encourage you i'm telling you sometimes a small testimony is to encourage you i know a little like that she got a job and that job she worked there for three months and they fired her and she, ah, what kind of job is this and she got another job and moved on in that three months she met the person that she married but the thing is that once you don't have a grateful heart you don't see it you you're not even patient enough for god to walk you through the process i don't know what's going on but but i'm grateful I don't know why that bad thing happened but lord in all things i'm grateful it's hurting me to even say it it even when i see the doctor's report it hurts to even say it but lord i'm grateful god works in amazing ways there's a there's an aunt of mine she was 37 38 she was i mean this is a long time ago the biggest miracle i've seen in my life my mom asked her to go with the driver somewhere else when we were young and the police arrested them and it goes to a heated argument it was a while ago and because she was so angry she didn't know when she lost her temper and slapped the policeman not someone told me this is something that was reported i know the people you will not believe it like when they say god can walk in a mysterious way that man she slapped became her husband let me tell you something i kid you not like i kid you ah, i said i've never seen this anointing before <laughs> slap and receive <laughs> remember that she was 38 38 years old like god has one million ways the reason why you're ungrateful is that you think if it doesn't happen this way listen god is committed to answer prayers but the method of answering prayers is not your it's not it's not your job let me say that again god is committed to answer prayers but the method he would choose to answer prayer are not your method they are within his sovereignty to choose anyway yes. glory to god you need to know what god's commitments are that he will answer so i'll say will they use ivf or will use i don't know what he will do he will do it yes. are you here are you here yes, so why are people ungrateful this is it when you find yourself murmuring or complaining the reason why is that 
you are focused on on the problems not on god's goodness it is impossible for you to be focused on the goodness of god and complain every time you find yourself complaining every time you find yourself not grateful the reason why you're not grateful you complain is because you are focused on what your problems not god's goodness and that's why the songwriter says count your blessing name them one by one let me tell you something can i take you down memory lane oh my god this is so powerful here because god wants to preserve your heart god wants you to be in a place where he still awes you he wants to be in a place where you're still like oh god you are in awe of god what you are in awe of god when your heart is overwhelmed by it but what keeps your heart that way is gratitude let me tell you something the friend you don't want to have are entitled friends they say ah what's wrong i came to you as you were not there even then we're coming and so what and that's how some of you have become with god you have become so entitled you've forgotten that even answer prayer is a privilege You've forgotten that you've forgotten you, you you become so entitled you say after all i i fast i pray i tight so you're fast you pray you tight let's line up your sin with what you do you'll be surprised that if god counts iniquity that none of your fasting prayer and tithing will ever work that the reason why you have answered prayer is because of the finished work of Christ of the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ you must realize that sometimes I, I say Lord who am I like who am I you know some people pastor but like you're very intelligent you can ask my wife I'm not that smart and I'm telling you the truth you know I'm not see in my family they didn't say that you know you know families that this is the star child i was not that one they picked no i was the one that was not the star child but for the grace of god you know i say this to you sometimes you know sometimes i can't even say you know there's a lady that i knew when we were in school and she was the, like the prettiest she was like you know they have this award hottest girl so in my mind when people get married she'll be the first to get married i saw her recently she's not in her 40s she's never engaged like wow because you know when, when you when you're young and you see this is the hottest girl they remember that the ones that were not hot i saw them with two or three children like this they remember the race is not to the swifts we had a secondary school reunion recently and we're talking about the richest guy in our set and that was a guy that had almost all f9 in ssc I said, how did this guy in fact when we had the reunion we had an extra bill of about two million and he just you know we're like oh don't mind them all. they just left me like, why are they talking our clades all the ones that were a1 a2 senior prefect you know senior prefect. when they hear two million they then they want that hard f9 ah. i'm the one you showed mess I am the one you should miss. Who am I? Who is my father's house? I'm the one you should mercy. M may you not be big in your sight before God. It's a prayer you have to pray. That Lord, that thing that will make me become so big before you that I cannot kneel, that I cannot prostrate, that I cannot praise you. And may I never have that kind of breakthrough. Ah, may I not become like Saul that forgot who made him. May I not become like Saul's daughter that says you are just dancing crazy before the God of Israel and David said it was a God that dethroned your father and gave me his throne yes, the first time I preached one of my leaders because I had leaders in church said you know you can't talk well you know you can't preach he said don't preach long that will help you some years long ago the guy came and sat down several weeks in church he said your preaching is just fantastic and i looked because i don't know if he remembered he ever told me i could not but is it me it's not me i received grace god showed me mercy what is what so so what thanksgiving does is that it 
keeps your heart tender because some of you you're like eh, eh, i'm not married eh, eh, i don't have the approval eh, eh. you know and things even keep you because ingratitude keeps your focus on what god has not done thanksgiving keeps your focus on what god. and once you're focused on what god has not done you become bitter you become hungry you become paid you become envious you become jealous you become like cain you come when god does something so you always wonder why you believe to go to work the reason why you believe to go to work is because your heart is bad and the heart is fixing he said there are just five loaves and two fish he said what is this among so many so 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 eventually you get a job you know what kind of job is this one is it a job ah father i was considered i know you have begun to do it I'm grateful. Is this not you? How many of you are going to um, what they call it Aswani before? Raise up your hands. Be honest, raise up your hand. Wave you like this. I went to Janka. Ja, uh, no, no, no. Katangora. Yeah. How many of you went to Katangora? Wave, wave. Aswani. Wave. And you see, they, they don't want to be honest with themselves. Now no, nobody must know because I mean, I mean, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> My brother, calm down. Even the way you talk, we know that you went there. Yeah. When you see shirts that salute shirts, you just stand like this. Yeah. By themselves, by the power of blue starch. You just stand like this and salute. Yeah. But look at you. When you move to the you say, when you first moved to Lekki, you were not in Lekki, you were staying in Atari Jones. Yeah. But now, you know, um, we just moved to Ikoi and uh, you know, you know, and this. <laughs> You that they design your passport with refusal. <laughs> Every time you apply to vision, no. I'm like, no. Even Kenya, no. <laughs> almost, Togo almost slammed you, no, before they saw that you are Echo Was. <laughs> now you just say, well, oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to parade tomorrow just for three days. You even forgot that that was a prayer point. <laughs> Many of you don't remember that what you have today was a prayer point. <laughs> The job you have today was a prayer point. And you keep saying that, what has God done for me? Hush! Hush! He's faithful. He's kind. He's good. Glory to God. I said glory to God. Some of you, when you say wearing shoes, you were so broke, you will put so protector. So that the shoe can last for a long time. You you not pro, you should you not protect the front, protect the back. Now, if the shoe does not have name like Beluti, you can't wear it. If it's not LV, you can't wear it. And every time you wear a shoe, you don't say, "Father, thank you." Ah, ah, ah. Bata, 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 bata. That was your future those days. See how far, see how far the Lord has brought you. See how far the Lord has brought you. They broke your heart until the heart could not be broken. But against all odds, are you not engaged now? Are you not married now? You that you're a child, someone is calling you daddy. When did you become not when did you stop becoming a child? When did you stop becoming a daughter that someone is calling you mommy? even have checkbook you have checkbook you have checkbook you can't remember your first checkbook do you treat like idol this is your check we say thank you banking officer you kept it you kept it when you not when you wrote your first check you you, you took a special posture you lied now from the comfort of your phone your pa 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 you transfer I remember the first time someone gave us the biggest money in the ministry 150 pounds i can never forget it was in it was in antony on antony a little bit close 150 pounds i told you came after that and gave us 25 000 ha! i said my god breakthrough has come breakthrough has come breakthrough has come 150 pounds ha! 150 pounds breakthrough I will never be ungrateful to you, oh God. So what is Thanksgiving as we close? Thanksgiving is... So, let me tell you. 
you can't have this kind of attitude and your heart becomes negative it doesn't matter what's going wrong you've taken a posture already that's a posture you have it's a posture that Lord I'm privileged I'm not entitled when it's time to worship God you find yourself kneeling breaking down singing dancing when it's time to give offering you find yourself offloading your money say Lord who am I if not for grace and mercy who am I what am I what have I done when I was in the UK recently I met up with all my schoolmates and they were like, oh, you know, one of my schoolmates, they got married to each other, class, um, classmates. So we were talking about school. And, you know, they were like, oh, we, we knew you would be a pastor because of this and this. And I said, well, that's, that's your opinion. Because I thought I was far behind because I had all these other people that were way more spiritual than me. And I said, where are they right now? Said, that's true. And they never called to them that, where are these people right now? And they said, we don't even know if they're in ministry. When I become a professor, I'm not sure if he knows Jesus Christ again. I said, Lord, I'm grateful because the race is not to the swift listen be grateful do you know how much you pray to get admission you've forgotten yes this guy that wrote to 46 was under your situation one time there's a girl that got admission and is all over jam there was a situation one time you were looking for admission everywhere then when you now got to the school to leave school you must leave school prayers you were doing it well. you must leave school prayers you're married say the peace that God has given you with your grandchildren all around you praise God what does thanking God mean acknowledging God's favor and blessings acknowledging God's favor and blessings so acknowledging Psalm 8 verse 4 which is what I'm saying the psalmist said what is man that you are mindful of me that's thanking God acknowledging God's favor and blessings what is thanking God again number two is Exodus 10 verse 2 Exodus 10 verse 2 recounting the goodness of the Lord he says you will tell your sons and your sons and your sons son of my mighty work Exodus chapter 10 verse 2 he says and thou mayest tell in the years of thy son and of thy son son what things have wrought you will take a journal and write it down the same of pressure you went for some did not survive it I'm a single mother but what has God done for me other people are their high blood pressure because their single parent has gone high you the way you even carry the load is as if grace has carried it for you nobody even knows that you are a single mother or single father because everything is okay there are times of pain but nobody can see it in your life with all, listen to me with all the challenges you have see how people want to be like you can't you see there's grace on your life with all the challenges with you are the one that knows you have problem or other people in the family are saying that can we be like you all your friends can say can we have what you they want to have what you have you don't understand what grace is on a man if you have a phone it's the same iphone 13 oh they will prefer your own to their own and they wonder why because grace is on it they look at your children your children are the nicest grace is on it it's the same clothes as should be with bottle but grace is on it ah, lord i'm grateful for that kind of grace oh Praise God. You must remember that thanksgiving is a choice. That's why it says in all things give thanks. If it was a natural response, it will not tell us to give thanks because we naturally. It says, whatever situation is, let, let me read something to you that's very powerful. Thanksgiving is a disciplined response to levels of challenges and opportunity that helps you carry the weight of what is coming. Let me read that again. Thanksgiving is a disciplined response to levels of challenges that means when there's challenges that's my response when it's opportunity that's my response what does it do it helps me carry the weight what is coming so in all situations i've learned to thank god how do we thank god by recounting what the lord has done i hope i can get someone here that can share me i want to blow my mind with the testimony that's how you think about recounting what the Lord has done. The second way you think God is this. Through your words, offering up words, dance, songs. And the last way you think God is this, through your giving. You know, that's one of the ways the church has not been trained. And the reason why the church has not been trained is that because of the abuse on finance, the real finance teaching has always been suppressed. There is such a thing as a Thanksgiving offering. In fact, your worship any worship is never complete without giving 
the bible says in the book of numbers it says you must not come to to the lord empty-handed that means every time you come and see the lord there must be a giving there then remember when abraham was taking isaac he said we're going to worship what did they say isaac said where's the sacrifice the reason why he asked for the sacrifice is that because every time we go to worship worship either sunday worship or monday worship we must always take something to offer because sacrifice and worship must go together let me tell you something look at me we're going to give the thanksgiving offering today but that's what i'm asking you when god does something in your life by yourself give a thanksgiving offering by yourself like hey eh? i just got a promotion father this is a hundred thousand thank you i reach 50 this one million and thank you it's amazing because you use terminal to do a party when you're 50 then the one that gave you 50 years you give him 10,000 naira I sent you an offering then God wonder who you're thinking either him or the people praise God Hallelujah. can I get someone that wants to has a testimony to share yeah, someone that has a testimony what, what significant has happened today but as it's like I thank God for your new property that's a big testimony yeah, that's a new that's a big testimony right there for a new problem. What's well, the testimony to share? Lift up your hands. Let me see. Yeah, yes, I thank you. Thank you. Anita's over there. Give her Anita the phone. I think that's I can see her. Give her the phone quickly. Microphone quickly. If those are, if they don't want to share, they don't want to share. That's their problem. Look, look at her. No, you Calibi. Over here. She's over here. Look at her. Yeah. Let me share, let me share. Oh, God, let, I want to be the one leper that will come and testify. So I got to multiply everything. You passed her, you passed her, you passed her, you passed her. Just pass the microphone from the side. Why are you going the other way? So I'm thankful for you, though. <laughs> microphone is not working. Yeah. Give another microphone, please. Is that one working? Check before you give her. All the microphones are not working. I'm thankful for you too. Okay, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just opened my first store. Wow. Hallelujah. And it's um, it's so funny because January 16th this year, I wrote it in my letter of congratulations. I called the name, I called what it was going to be, but I had no idea how I was going to start. Between January and the end of June, the store is full and functioning. The grace of the Lord. Someone else wants to share, someone wants to share. You know, there's, I mean, there are not many hands here. Just give her the microphone, the lady with the hair tie, and the lady in front here, the someone else in front here, because I want us to go ahead and sing and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, someone has took the microphone. Where, where's the person? Yes. All right. Yes, sir. Um, I'm a widower. And wow. I have um, three kids. The first two are sitting beside me. They've completed their university. <laughs> I give God all the praise. The one sitting beside me is my first son. About um, 2021 December, he was uh, hit by meningitis. We almost lost him. He was in coma for 12 days. And um, we were told by the doctors that he may not be able to walk, nor talk, nor see again. But by the special grace of God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty. Sir, can you come with him? I would love to hug you. Is that okay? Please come. Oh, wow. What a mighty God. Hey, I, I told you we're going to shout. Oh, my God. What a mighty God we serve. 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 Someone say, what a mighty God we serve. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for this. Thank you, Jesus, for this. Thank you, Jesus, for this. This is good. Oh, wow. 
The doctor said, you would not be able, you even look stronger than me. Can I also give you a hug? Oh, wonderful. Thank you for sharing that. Your testimony has inspired the whole room today. You know, let me tell you something. If you're a widow, a widow, the pressure of making sure the kids do well is something else. So I could imagine what you were going through. But see what the Lord has done. Let's stand on our feet. Let's stand on our feet everywhere. Lift up your hands and thank Him for His goodness. Everywhere, all of you in the gallery, lift up your hands and thank Him for His goodness. He's a good God. He's a faithful God. Thank Him for His goodness. Thank Him for His love. Thank Him for His praise. We give You praise. We give You glory. We give You praise. We give You glory. Go ahead and thank Him. Count your blessings one by one. Hallelujah. Thank Him for His goodness. Thank Him for His praise. Thank Him for His goodness. Thank Him for His praise. Oh glory. Hallelujah. Oh glory. Hallelujah. Oh glory. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. And Father, we are deeply grateful. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. If you don't answer prayers, what we will we do? There's no courts to which we can sue you. But because you are a holy and faithful God, you keep to your word. You keep to your word. You honor your name. And that's why we have come as a family. To come and say thank you lord accept our thanks in jesus name amen, amen.